Good morning everyone and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. This is Shrikan Chauhan from Kotak Securities PCG Research. As the two Fed officials made the case for raising interest rates and keeping them on hold for a while, markets quickly slide off from the highs and um, we saw negative closing for Dow Jones as well as for the Nasdaq. US stock futures, Asian markets and Singapore Nifty all are trading marginally in the red. However, after a long time in our currency markets, we saw appreciation for Indian rupee from the levels of 82.80 currently it is at 82.36 which is positive. Also the dollar index which was around 103.5070 traded below the levels of 103 which will help other currencies to uh, gain further in the near term. And it's an important breakdown. So there we need to keep a close watch and if we see the dollar index is sustaining below the mark of 103 then we can expect further more weakness for the dollar index the 10 year bond yield was also around 3.52 which is again positive and for that the important level is 3.40 uh, tcs reported q3 numbers in line with expectations which will actually help it index because there was like a lot of uncertainties uh, about how the companies will report their number and guidance, uh, how they will give the guidance. But uh, now because of this in line with expectations number, we can see some uh, buying interest for all the IT companies. Also, uh, if we go through with the technical setup of the market, then there uh, we feel that the market has formed a bullish reversal formation, but it's a start of the uh, River, I mean to say the recovery sort of pattern and uh, it's a very strong pattern which will actually re-challenge to the levels of 18,217. However, as we are facing Q3 numbers uh, for um, Indian corporates, we need to be cautious until the markets are not crossing 18,270 which is the ultimate resistance of the market, we cannot expect any major uptrend in the market so markets are still in the range after hitting the lower boundary we are seeing upward activity which will take the market to the levels of 18,270 again we need to be careful while adding long positions above the levels of 18,200 the current formation may help the market to move towards 18,200 or even 270 but we need to take profit around 18,200 and about 270 only we can expect a strong bullishness in the market so the strategy should be to uh, look for adding some long positions with a final stop loss at 17,900 because it's a 50% retracement of the previous day and uh, it was the gap up opening for the market so, so certainly 17,900 is going to act as major major support for the market and below that we can expect further more weakness in that case again the market may fall to the levels of 17,070, 17,750 which is the ultimate support level and below that we can expect breakdown. So uh, now we are going to see the market between 79 to 18,200. For other indices also we saw recovery from the lower levels and in brief we can say that Monday's lowest levels are crucial for all the indices and uh, based on or with the help of those indices, with, with the help of those lows, we can expect um, upward activity in the market. Uh, friends, that's all from my side for the day. With this, I'm ending today's morning podcast. Thank you and have a great day to all of you.